Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to turn Abby into a very shiny girl. But first, I want to show you how I stored my patterns. I have this little folder and all the patterns are inside different little envelopes. I have the envelopes here and also a couple of small notebooks. I use them to trace the actual patterns. Each kind of clothes is inside a pocket of the folder so it's easy to find what I'm exactly looking for. For this doll I'm using this jacket. As you can see I draw a rough sketch of what's inside. And also this dress. I chose this very shiny fabric. Let's start with the jacket. First we trace all the pattern on the fabric we want, cut them and start joining pieces. I start with the back part because it has three different pieces. Then I made the front. I saw this little square of fabric and turn it inside out to make the lapels. Then I continued with the sleeves. For some reason I feel that sewing sleeves is really difficult. When you have all the parts together, fold it in half, good side to good side, and sew along the guidelines. To make the collar, I sew two rectangles of fabric, good side to good side, following the guidelines, flip them inside out, and sew it in the outside too. And then I attach it to the jacket. Now we only have to do the bottom part that I sew this way to achieve a clean look. Now I'm making a belt. It's extremely simple. I cut a long rectangle of fabric I put a little bit of glue, but it was useless. You don't really need to do it. I folded the edges, ironed them to make them flat, and sew snaps for closure. Only that. I glue in some rhinestones on the jacket and on the belt to make everything even shinier. Then the dress. This fabric is beautiful, but it's also hell to sew. So slippery, oh my goodness. After tracing the patterns and cutting it, I saw the dots. Then the back part. Then I joined the shoulders and sew all the edges. For the back, I attach a piece of velcro in the top part and I sew the bottom part. I also made an underskirt with a piece of elastics and tulle. I sew the elastic in the size of the waist and a piece of tulle in the length we want. We take a string of tulle and sew a running stitch 
gather it and attach it on the bottom part of the main piece. We repeat this overlapping every ruffle we make until we finish our underskirt. For the shoes, I modified these operator ones. I cut everything we don't need. I had a little accident and I cut too much. But there's no problem because we can mend it with a drop of super glue. Then I paint them. I used the same colors as the rest of the outfit, silver and pink. I covered all the pink side with Mod Podge and I fill it with glitter. I also glued some rhinestones. Now to the doll. I prepared her as always. Cutting the hair, removing the head using the hot water method, and taking all this mess from the inside with a screwdriver and pliers. I removed the factory paint with pure acetone can start painting it. I started painting the scalp yellow because I have a different idea in mind when I started this project. I wanted to reroute her with this yellow hair but I didn't have enough so I had to change my mind. As always I reattach head and body before spraying with MSC. After spraying we start with the shading on the head and on the body. And we can also start blushing the face. To start sketching the eyes, I always use a color that is very similar to the skin tone of the doll I'm using. I always paint between the lips with a darker color so it gives them volume. And the basic shape. I drew their eyebrows white. Then the shape of the irises. That I wanted to make two different colors. Greenish yellow and purple. In the next layers, I made the colors brighter and drew some different details. By the way, I hope you are all doing fine, you are staying healthy. And also your families and friends and everyone you love. I know this situation we're living is horrible, but I'm just wishing you the best. I 
I decided to make the eyebrows pink. I used this pastel pencil to give the doll some highlights. I felt that the scleras weren't opaque enough, so I paint them using the watercolor effect from my pencils. I paint the pupils on a brand new layer because in case I make a mistake and I have to rub out, I don't ruin everything I've done. I draw the eyeliner and the lashes. I always struggle a lot with the bottom eyelashes. I shaded the top part of the eye with a little bit of black pastels that also worked as eyeshadow. I corrected the sclera a little bit. And then I drew the eye shines. They are just some simple dots, but it makes it all so different and alive, and I love that. As I told you before, I had to change my mind about the hair, and I went to my old reliable yarn. As always, I made the wefts, tying them, separating the strands, brushing, Ironing, cutting, gluing, peeling, and cutting the messy parts. I glued the hair directly on the doll. First, I started with the part. For this, I always use the thickest webs. Then I just kept gluing webs, starting from the bottom until we get to the very top part.
I want the pink part to look like it was shaved. So I cover it with Mod Podge and flocking powder. When everything is dry, I style it. I had the sudden decision of uh, curl it. For this I used my hair straightener and something metallic and round. In this case the handle of my exacto knife. It's way easier to curl the hair before gluing it, but as I said before it was a sudden decision so I had to do it now. The last touch is painting her nails neon pink. And with this, our job is done! I really hope you like her. It was great to make her. I hope you all have a nice day and see you again very soon. Bye!